Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. The Saints make a splash and re-sign Carl Grandison um, to a four-year deal. Um, Carl Grandison's already off to a good year. Two and a half sacks on the season in, in two games, and the Saints lock him down. This is very, very important. Uh, you get a guy that's about to enter the prime of his career, only 26 years old, uh, and we sign him. Uh, the contract details, well, I think, four years, $52 million, 35.3 um, guarantee. That's a really, really good deal. I think we're going to look back at this deal in a couple years and be like, dang, the Saints got a steal. Saints really got a steal. Um, that's about, what, 12 and a half, 13 million a year. It's 13 million a year for a, de a starting defensive end. Uh, that's middle of the pack money. And Carl Grant is going to be really, really good for us. Um, I really, really love this deal for the Saints, especially with the, the upcoming free agents of 2024. We don't have that many. Um, so Carl Grandison was going to be a big, big signing. And I'm glad the Saints got it done now because Carl Grandison messes around and finishes this season with like, you know, 15 to 18 sacks. We won't be able to sign him. Um, kind of a Trey Hendrickson situation. Guy's going to just overplay and uh, going to just need too much money. And the Saints probably wasn't going to wasn't going to be able to, to afford him. So locking him in now, uh, 52 million, four years. I think that's going to be a really, really good deal for the Saints. And now if you're just looking at our free agent tracker um, for next year, we got Andres Pete. They have Jameis Winston, James Hurst, Traquan Smith. Other than that, not really anyone else. I mean, it's a bunch of other guys that's uh, free agents, but it's just guys that's been on one-year deals, you know, kind of in their careers right now. You got like Trey Turner, who's hurt. You got Lonnie Johnson, Jimmy Graham, uh, Zach Bond, Mac Max Garcia. Just, you know, guys that are, that, that are just going to be on one-year deals for their NFL career right now. But for the main part, everybody's locked in with the Saints. The main guys are locked in with the Saints for at least a couple years. So this window, this Super Bowl window, this Super Bowl run, if you know you think it's a window there with this Dennis Allen team, they're all locked in. So this team this team is not gonna be, you know, no major changes unless they, you know, trade somebody, do something like that. But no major trades trades are on the you know horizon. This team is locked in. This is a team we're gonna have. This is the team we're gonna get. Locked in Carl Grant. That's really, really good. Also that just puts less pressure on guys like Isaiah Foskey to, you know, step up right away. You can develop that guy, you know, maybe, you know, sit, not sit, but, you know, play sparingly one or two years. And maybe when, you know, Cam Jordan's still up in a couple years, maybe he's ready to start then. But now you can bring him along slowly. You don't have to rush him out there. You can develop these guys where you're just not trying to start day one. That's going to be really good for his development. I think we kind of threw Davenport and Peyton Turner in that fire, expecting them to, you know, play right away. And it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out for any of those guys. But, man, big deal for Carl Grandison. And shout out to Carl Grandison, man. Shout out to call, uh, undrafted free agent getting $52 million. It's no, that's not normal. It doesn't really happen, you know, that often. Like, went to Wyoming. It's just, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen for guys like that, man. Undrafted free agent in a, in a 2019 draft. I'm just looking at it. He received a $15,000 son, signing bonus. $15,000 signing bonus. And hey, 70000 guaranteed. 70000 guaranteed. That's absolutely, you know, crazy. Honestly, that's absolutely crazy. Now he just got an extension um, with the Saints of 52 million, 32 guaranteed, 33 guaranteed. When you just had 70,000 guaranteed just in 2019. So, hey, crazy, you know, hard work can do. Shout out to Carl Grandison. Shout out to Saints to getting this done, man. Shout out to Saints to getting this done. I know we all, we all want to win. This is going to be a big, big help to the Saints. He's been having a, a good year. He's been one of our best players on defense so far, man. Um, just everybody on defense. Now you got this defense locked in. You got obviously Brian Mercy, you got Kalen Saunders, Nathan Shepard, Cam Jordan, Demario, Pete Warner, Lattimore, Adebo, Alante, Marcus May. The entire starting defense is locked in for at least a couple more years. That's really, really good. The entire starting offense is actually locked in. Only, only thing we're missing is a left guard. But are we really missing a left guard with, with Hurst and Pete right there? You know, that's neither here nor there. But I'm super, super happy with this deal. Super, super happy with this deal, man. Uh, can't wait. Can't wait. Glad for Carl Granderson. Um, and I just can't wait. Can't wait. And while we're here, I mean, we could, we got might as well talk about the game, man, against the Packers. Since we're here already, we're already making a video. Um, I'm expecting him to show up now. Man, you just got paid. Hey, now you got to produce. Now the pressure is on him a little bit. The pressure is on him. At first, you're kind of, I'm not going to say you're playing for your life because, I mean, he's been in the league for four years. You're, you're making decent money. But now you have to live up to some expectations. It was honestly no expectations coming. Undrafted free agent. You don't really have, you know, expectations, man. You don't really have expe expectations. Um, He had a little trouble in his past. That's probably why he went undrafted. Um, I'm not going to get into whatever that is. You can look it up. You can see what it was for yourself. But, um, yeah, he had some trouble in his past. Uh, I ran into some trouble. 
Like I said, I'm not getting into that. And that's probably why he went undrafted, man. But, hey, put his head down. Hasn't had any problems with the Saints. And and now he's, you know, going to be very, very handsomely paid. So, shout out to him. But like I said, that Packers game, man, hey, he has pressure now. He has pressure now. You got to come in. Got to do your job. Got to even raise the, the level of expectation. Got to raise your play. You have to raise your play. A guy that's making 700 k and a guy that's making $16 million, you're gonna get you're gonna get talked about differently now. You're not just a guy. You're you're one of the guys. You're one of the guys, and I expect him to show up. I expect him to show up just like he has been um, for the every game he's played for the Saints. If you remember, I did you know a Brown the Browns breakdown last year. He had a really really good game against them, um, and I'm really glad. It's already been tweets every time he makes a tackle. You know, Saints fans been tweeting, man. I wonder who Grandis is gonna play for, ne for next year. Wonder who with Grandison. You know, what team he's gonna? I can't wait till the Bengals. You know, have Grandis and the things like that. The Saints finally lock a guy in at this defensive end spot. We've been rotating guys. We've been trying everybody. We got Tano. We got Davenport. We got Peyton Turner. We drafted Foskey. We've been playing a lot of guys at that position, and we finally locked it down. We finally locked it down. Um, and it's good on Grandison. Man, he was having a good game, so I'm sure him and his agents like, let's get this deal done right now. It's two weeks into the season. Let's get it done. Um, I'm not sure what that does for the Saints cap situation and things like that, but obviously money's not an issue, man. Money's not an issue. They're doing the thing. Um. And we'll see We'll see what this turns out to, man. Like I said, I was naming some of the free agents. It's not really anyone. You got, obviously, Jameis Winston, who's your backup quarterback. I'm just Pete. Like I said, Hurst, Traquan Smith. Him, those five were really the only guys that are, like, in danger of leaving. So, this Saints team is stacked. We're, like, 50 players deep. Like, our draft class next year is going to struggle to make the team. Outside, like, the first and second round pick. You see Isaiah Foskey's already, like, been healthy scratches. That's how good the Saints is. Like, a lot of people are making fun of him for being a second-round pick and being a healthy scratch, but, I mean, just look at the team. Just look at the team, man. The team is really, really good. And now you have no one really leaving next year. Outside of your first-round pick, whoever that may be next year, the second-round pick may be healthy scratch next year as well. Like, we're just so deep at so many positions. I just, you can't really see these guys coming in and making this roster. It's super, super tough. The Saints are that good. Like, the Saints are really, really that good that, like, the second, third, fourth round picks are going to struggle to make the active roster. Now, we can obviously put them on a practice squad, develop them, and they'll play sparingly, but it's going to be really, really tough to make this roster for the Saints, and that's only a good thing. That's only a good thing, man. You give these time, you know, give these guys time to develop, learn the NFL game, uh, and then play when they're ready. But once again, man, Carl Granderson, four-year deal, $52 million, 35.3 guaranteed to be exact. Uh, that just came out, and hey. Great deal for the Saints. Great deal for Granderson. I can't wait to see him play. Uh, keep balling out for us because he's a really, really good defensive end. Uh, but that's all. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. As always, it's Boot Trady. I'm out.